Let's talk about resistance. Every one of you have side projects or ideas or things you're busy with. You have a sudden motivation to actually get something done. You might buy a, you know, a domain for it, for that product or service. You might just get like a sudden rush of like, yeah, I'm gonna get something done. And then it kind of dies out. And it dies out because of the resistance. Resistance is a concept which was described in the War of Art uh, book and it's by Stephen Pressfield. It's a gem of a book. Please do pick it up. Like if if you're gonna take any anything out of this because it describes all the conceptual things and all the things you face as a human being. You know, everybody has those ideas like, oh, I wish I could work on this app or, oh, I should do a UX a case study. Oh, maybe I should join V and do that challenge he just, you know, rambled about before. But when you face that resistance, when actually comes the day that you feel like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do it. Maybe I, I have better things to do. Oh, it seems like hard work, things of that nature. Everybody feels that way because you're a human being and motivation is fleeting. I'm gonna talk about other bits, how to address it later on, maybe in the next stream. But this is very conceptual, well, very philosophical take. That resistance, if you know that everybody's facing it, if you know that motivation is fleeting, if you know that to achieve anything, you're gonna have to face resistance, then now you are at a, at a, at a level where you can actually do something about it and actually action something about it. The takeaway here is that resistance is growth. It's always signifies that there's a challenge, a chasm to, 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 to pass, basically. If you want to do and get more done as a UX designer, you're going to have to learn the tricks, the mental hacks of how to overcome that resistance. Just a week ago, I knew that, that live, this live stream was coming and I was facing resistance to prepare for it because I was like feeling like, oh, I just don't feel like making it. Like, you know, I have thousands of things to be done, but I don't feel like making it. But I scheduled the time specifically today. The moment I woke up today, I just literally took those notes I had from before and made this thing because I, I knew that the resistance can be tackled by uh, timekeeping and time boxing. This is my method of how I approach it, let's say. The rule of thumb here is that the more important the call to action is to your soul's evolution, to whatever you do, whatever you put your soul into. You know how they say like, oh, this design has soul. This design doesn't have soul. This work has soul. This work is made with love. It's this because someone faced the resistance and said, screw it. I'm still gonna go and do it anyways and start with the baby steps and actually accomplish it because the resistance is actually signifies that there is some value behind it. It's a mental blocker we put ourselves because we're humans again. We're trying to look for shortcuts. We're trying to look for rest. We're trying to look for easy resources. You know that. Let's hack it. Let's do better. Let's overcome those obstacles. Another book of it is Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. It's it's a book for leaders. If you want to achieve anything in your life, you're going to have to face the obstacles and you're going to have to train yourself to be much more comfortable whenever obstacles arise. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's take an example. At some point, you might have been scared to reach out to a person because they're more senior than you are in a corporate ladder. We always been there. However, if you reach out to just slightly senior who's not there, you know, like again and again, if you get the permission, if you're positively reinforced again from the Skinner's methods I covered before, you're gonna build up and face those different challenges. And that big challenge you thought is, you know, the obstacle you couldn't go through is actually now addressable because you can actually bang it out and actually go for it. And so the resistance is very, very natural and I love that that inner resistance has been outlined for us because then you can name it and then you can own it and then you can smash it and then actually get things done. If you commit to things which add value, if you commit to design labor or product labor or engineering labor, whatever it is, you can actually get it done because you're going to recognize the things which, you know, spark the motivation, which actually keeps you going, which you can actually address, which you can actually go through.